Hip-Hop's hottest. All on one station. All on one station. One station. We play all the hits. This is... This is... 99.5 Asasi Radio. Be- between hours. Between hours. Between hours. Time to reset and get the job done. Between hours. Between hours. Between hours. Between, between hours. Get the job done. Between hours on 90. Between hours on 99.5. between hours.
It's a brand new month here. And of course, it feels really good to be back on a radio. Hey, let me say good afternoon to you. It is between hours live here on Assassin Radio 99.5. And let me say, hey, shout's going out to Nash Oko. Well, if you hear my voice, she's not here today. So I'm taking over for now. She's not too well. She's a bit under the weather. But surely we keep our fingers crossed and she'll be so good. She'll be so fine tomorrow. She'll be back here with all the vim, all the verve, and all the vigor to give you that kind of a shock nation vibe. Uh, tomorrow she'll be back here, hopefully, okay? And meanwhile, a little later, I'll be getting into a conversation with you about all things considered Ghanaian and how we're really bracing ourselves for the month of March, okay? And so what it means for us is we're going to have to be very, 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 really, 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 very, 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 very see, I'm stressing it, really Ghanaian in this particular month. So, yeah, if I can ask you, Eti saying, Efoa, Tete, I guess that's all I know for now. But any other uh, Ghanaian language you know, how you can say, how are you? You can send out to me. I'll try my best to pronounce them. And you know, I am Elvis Crystal here. I'm host- hosting it down for uh, Nash Accord between hours between 2 and 3. And after that, we'll continue with the rush hour. Activating phones later on 020-000-9951 on WhatsApp. That you can also call me on WhatsApp. Um, send me a text on WhatsApp and send us a, a, a phone. Give us a phone call and send us a text, okay, on WhatsApp. The phone call activating number is 020-000-9951. And send us a, send us a WhatsApp on 020-000-995. That's a WhatsApp. You can always check us out on Asase TV, official on YouTube. And of course, DJ Perfect is playing the best of music. Today, we're going straight with some of the very uh, indigenous root kind of music and songs that you definitely resonate with the moment uh, for the month of March. Uh, so what we're going to do is play very interesting songs, songs you probably haven't heard in a while. We've got some coming in from Marriott International Band. And it's in the background right now. Who's to see Anansia? Who's to see Unhu? What's it? <laughs> Mario Band. If you love this one, stay with me. But I'm asking questions about the typical Ghanaian. So you know you're a typical Ghanaian when? And you can follow up and finish the sentence for me. You're a typical Ghanaian when? And when you call me up, then you tell me what that the sentence should be. You're a typical Ghanaian when? And if I can start off. You know you're a typical Ghanaian when you meet someone. You don't know them from anywhere. And then you say, Charlie. The first thing you say is, Charlie. You know, you're a typical Ghanaian when you say, Charlie. And also, you're a typical Ghanaian when you say, uh, Can I get direction to a certain location? Oh, you know, you get to the Lotto kiosk. The woman way to sell the plantain for the side end. Pass left. See, they don't know the place. Like, you know, they're just, they just helping you. We are so, so, so hospitable. We don't know the place. But we'll give you direction to a certain location. Uh-huh. So, you know, when you go down, 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 bro, down. When you get to the down there, no. They ask the woman where they sell the plantain, say, you don't look for this thing. And when you get there, ask anybody. They'll say, ah, so really, if I have to ask somebody, why would you just tell me to go and ask someone? <laughs> you know you're a typical Ghanaian when? I'll be making sure you're taking your calls and you can tell me more about a typical Ghanaian. Stick around. Be- between hours.
Allow me to have my fun. Allow me to have all the fun and exciting moments I can have on this earth. Music coming in from Theo. Agro. Lovely tune there. And it's officially the Ghana month and we're having the best of time here on Asasi Radio 99.5, the voice of our land. You're live with me. On between hours, you can always check us out on Asasi TV official on YouTube. As well as on Facebook Live. I got a message about uh, a greeting in Hausa. So let me try and see if I can get the word out there for you. Uh, of course, it says Yayade or Yade in Hausa. I hope I got it right. And I need more. I need more. So that makes about four different languages there. And as uh, I gave you ever, first of all, I gave you uh, the tree version. I gave you the uh, the Ga version, and now the Hausa. Which other one do we have? We'll go for a quick commercial. When we do get back. I'm taking your calls on. You know you were a typical Ghanaian when. So earlier on, I talked about a direction where a Ghanaian will be giving you a direction to a certain location, right? But here's the thing. If the plantain cellar or the uh, cocoa cellar is not there, what happens? 
right? They tell you, turn left, turn right. When you get there, you see a coconut cellar or a plantain cellar or some cocoa cellar there. Ask them a question of the next set of directions to take. And I'm asking you, if you get there and these individuals are not there, what happens next? I'll tell you after the commercial. Do stay around. It's between hours. Live on Asasi Radio 99.5. Stay with us. Right in the city of Accra, 30 minutes drive from the Kotoka International Airport, the Knightsbridge is Africa's first affordable luxury housing. The one, two, and three bedroom luxury apartments feature a gorgeous living area with natural illumination, a well-fitted kitchen, and a master bedroom with stunning ensuite, and the perfect bathroom for you. With breathtaking views, the Knightsbridge contemporary lifestyle is the norm. It's the perfect community. One, two, and three bedroom apartments available starting from 27,500 US dollars. Contact us now, 0204-9508-10 or 0208-7084-35. You can visit us on our website at www.rehobothpropertiesgh.com or email us sales at rehobothpropertiesgh.com. It's the rush up on 99.5. Accra's hottest drive time extravaganza. Join Elvis Crystal on the rush up Monday through Friday for the best upfront RB, dance hall, Afrobeat, and all the pop hits. It's the rush up, the rush hour. It's Elvis Crystal on the rush up, on the rush hour. Welcome to the voice of the land. The best music lives here. Assassin 99.5. We've got your music on 99.5. Black Boy on Nitro Avenue. Turn on the night. Baby, we are doing music, combos, and gossip. All the scoops, the lowdowns, and the meltdowns. Nitro Avenue. What's playing and showing? What's popping and trending? All the celebs and stars. That's the golden time of day. Accra, tune in. On air, Asasi Radio 99.5. Online, that's Asasi Radio. Web, tablets, and phones. Nitro Avenue with Black Boy is on weeknight. Black Boy's Black Boy's going to turn on the nights in the capital again. Nitro Avenue. Music, convos, info, trends. Nitro Avenue is exclusive to Assassin Radio 99.5, the voice of our land. Right in the city of Accra, 30 minutes drive from the Kotoka International Airport, the Knightsbridge is Africa's first affordable luxury housing. The one, two, and three bedroom luxury apartments feature a gorgeous living area with natural illumination. A well-fitted kitchen and a master bedroom with stunning ensuite and the perfect bathroom for you. With breathtaking views, the Knightsbridge contemporary lifestyle is the norm. It's the perfect community. One, two, and three bedroom apartments available starting from 27,500 US dollars. Contact us now, 0204-9508-10 or 0208-7084-35. You can visit us on our website at www.rehobothpropertiesgh.com or email us sales at rehobothpropertiesgh.com. Between hours. Between hours. Time to reset and get the job done. Between hours. Between hours. Oh, come Between hours. Why now? I be want me to die. So make I die. Believe me, so te. Minty me minda. Oh, order. Sassy Radio 99.5. All the biggest names in music play here. Ah, 
A great musician it's unfortunate 2013 we actually lost uh, dr pabobo yeah. comfort imagine at this particular time in the village somewhere you're sitting under a coconut tree and having yourself some beautiful palm wine tasty wine <laughs> some chill one like that I'm nothing can hold you back <laughs> and understand uh, a bit of a remix version came with this song right um exdo did a remix with this song <laughs> Lovely tune. Love you know you are a typical Ghanaian when. So I started by talking about how you were going somewhere. You're looking for directions somewhere. And then you decided to ask somebody uh, where, where, where this particular location is. And they start telling you where to go. Uh, when you go down the lane, you ask the coconut seller. When you get there, you see a lot of kiosk. You do this, you do that. And then when you get to a point, you see orange seller. You see banana seller. You, when, when you get there. You ask them a question, and then I was saying that when you get there and the banana seller is not there, the coconut seller is not there, what happens? Huh? Why you roll? No, wait, no, Why I... you roll? <laughs> you are lost. You stand there, look left, right, center. You will find the reason why you're there. You'll be confused. You know you're a Ghanaian when I got a message here coming in from me for Anaman says you're a Ghanaian when mineral is cook, Fanta, and Sprite. Hey. 
and buy me some minerals. Shall I back old school days, eh? Back in the day, you used to have that with some cabin biscuits, Piccadillis, and some Igbe biscuits. Straight up. You know you're a typical Ghanaian when I'm activating phones now. I want you to tell me how a typical Ghanaian can be identified. Where, well, of course, you can tell me by finishing the sentence, you know you're a typical Ghanaian when, and then you finish the sentence for me. Um, and when you do call me, though, you can always say that in your local dialect as well. That'd be fine, eh? You could do that for me, okay? You could do that. Oh, a message from uh, Francisca on 020-000-0995. A message from Francisca says, you know you're a typical Ghanaian when you unwrap all your gifts carefully. So that you can reuse the wrapping later. <laughs> Don't lie. You know you've done that before. You know you have. Especially when the wrapping is some beautiful paper wraps like that. And you think this one, yeah, I'll use it to wrap another gift for another person. You be guy, what's it? You do all. So what do you do? You you carefully unwrap the cello tape gently so you don't have to, like, you know, deface the wrapper. Take your time and take it off carefully. I'm activating phones on 020-00-09951. On 020-00-09951 right now. We're in the Ghana month, and you should expect a lot more of these happening on Asasi Radio 99.5. We're celebrating Ghana. Celebrating our women, our music, and our history. This March, Asasi Radio is bringing you all your special, very delicate selections of the best African, best Ghanaian music. It's our own special way of marking Independence Day by celebrating the women of our land, our music, and our rich history. And so we'll bring you special features, reports, profiles, and so much more on women on our land, and of course, from then and now. So one names come to mind when we think of uh, the women of our land. We're going to highlight a lot more uh, of our women. We'll start with uh, a lot of things, including how to treat you to a beautiful, rich Ghanaian music, spanning pre-independence to the present, and we will also take you on a captivating trip down memory lane. So you have nothing to worry about. You don't want to miss out on this month of March on Asasi Radio 99.5. You can join us to celebrate Ghana Man through our women, our music, and our history. Because we are the voice of the land. Asasi Radio 99.5. So how, how Ghanaian are you? DJ Pepe, tell me, how Ghanaian are you? Not that you're describing it certain Ghanaian to me, but describe yourself like, how Ghanaian are you? Perfect. How Ghanaian are you? So you, you, you find yourself in, in, in a European land and they ask you, who are you? So let me ask you, who are you? I'm from Ghana. You're what? I'm Ghanaian. You're a Ghanaian. Yeah. How different is a Ghanaian from a Nigerian? Dressing. You're dressing. Yeah. Oh, you tell me about the dressing then. Tell me. Okay, you throw it on your shoulder. All right, so can you describe to me how to wear kente from scratch? Like from scratch. So you have the cloth. Okay, let me just see if I can put you on a pedestal. Very, uh, yeah, very tactical, but I'll put you on a pedestal. So you have the cloth just by your waistline. Let's start from the waistline. I've helped you there. I'm not saying you pick it up from the bed. Oh, you want to start from the bed? No? no. no? I can barely hear you, though. You're going to have to speak closely to the mic. This is how, you, how I mean, in my experience, this is how it's done. Okay. I mean, you, you take the cloth on your left hand. So it, it, you, you have to swing it over your left arm. Left That's where it's standing like waistline like onto your left arm. You, you, you pick the other one on your right. Okay, the other one is on your right. Okay. So you put the left one on your shoulder. So like this? Yeah. Like this. Okay, there we go. Then you Whilst you're suspending the, the right one. Right one. Okay. Then you, you pull the left one onto the shoulder. So first of all, you've thrown it over your left shoulder. Yes. And you you, you, you you want to make sure it aligns well. The rest will lie on your arm like that. It will lie on the left arm again. Left arm, okay, yeah. all right. So you've you've thrown like one bar already. One bar already. Yeah, you have to get... Straight up on your one left arm like this. Okay. And you throw the right one on it. Okay, so you throw the right one on, on the, left the left arm. Or else it's suspended, so... Okay. You fold it gently. All right. So fold means you, you roll it shoulder-wise, like towards your shoulder. Okay. Yeah. And then upward. Then you 
People may think I'm the one saying this because I can barely hear you. I don't know why my mouth is not Yeah, coming. I can barely hear. Okay, go ahead. You can hear me now. Yeah, I can hear you now. Like I said earlier on. Um, so you throw the the right one on the left. Okay, there we go. Yes. So you fold both the left and the right one that you see on the left. Yeah. Together. Okay. Gently upward. Then you fold it together. Okay. And put it in your... In your armpit. Okay. So you hold like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Your, your arms have to be in a way that... It do not fall down. It do not fall down. So, so you have to like hold it closely. You have to walk in a way. It is, oh, there's a, there's a particular gate that goes with it. All right. Okay. So that means that you you have like more than half of your chest area uh, exposed, isn't it? Uh, and your back. More than half. Like uh, few, like you know, your your right arm is gonna be out. Okay. Your your right your your right arm. Yeah. Towards your chest area will be exposed. Okay, but then what's the beauty about it? If if you don't have hair on your chest, then you know th there's a yeah, trick. Course, if yeah. you have hair on your chest, we a guy. Yeah, you swag with it. You swag with it. Chest, we a bema. If you don't have, it's still you know. It's still you okay. Have, you have good arms and all. Yeah, that, you know. some, some you some kind of some bicep and things. Okay, know. so women women find let's because you know we we actually talk about more women on our show. Okay, so women find it very attractive yeah. when a guy has that bicep thing yeah, bicep. and he has some hair on the chest, yeah. right? Because they can play with the hair. Yeah. You understand? Okay, so you you walk in a, in a very beautiful yeah, gate. Yeah. yeah. There's a way to walk. You just, you can't way. just walk anyway. No, no. Because if you walk anyway, the team will fall down. No, you see, the kind of kente you wear, okay, to walk anyhow, is different. It's different. Different from the one you wear to a certain ceremony. No, 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 no. no. If you see someone wearing kente, they're walking fast and running. <laughs> there's something happening. There's something happening. There's fire on the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them, they do it for them. If it fell down, they cannot do it. Yet. They can't do it themselves. Yeah, very careful when they okay. are walking because. When it falls down, there's a problem. Yeah. Right. So that's that's how you you show yourself in the in African opera. All right. Like in a Ghanaian I, opera. Like I say there's a walk that you have to walk. You cannot just. Would you want to walk that walk for us? Because we know we're live. These cameras will catch any walk you like do. Though. You know, you have to walk majestically. majestically. Yeah, with some swag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, that's how we do it. Okay, so let me go to it for Korea. You're also a, you're a Ghanaian, so um, what's a typical Ghanaian in you? How, how typically a Ghanaian are you? Okay, so um, I have this thing about me that um, most of my friends always say this. They're like, so you can't complete a sentence without saying, oh, I'm oh, coming, yeah. oh. I'm coming, oh. I asem, oh. So hey. I typically say, I asem every, <laughs> every day. Hey, you're rich, oh. <laughs> Charlie, I'm hungry, oh. You added to Charlie and then oh, oh. yeah. Oh, but then there's there's always a la. Oh, Charlie, I'm a hungry la. I'm hungry la. <laughs> <laughs> so there's all all these four three things are in one sentence. Yeah. Oh, Charlie, I'm hungry la. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's that's how identifiable you are as again. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, how do you wear um. Where you where you from typically? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. what's the, the the outlook, to represent traditional where you, outlook. traditional outlook that you have. Okay, so I'm going to go a bit western like. Okay. Um, I'm from Takrade. All right. Yeah, um, Eskado, precisely. Okay. And then I wouldn't go for the traditional way. I would go for Kaba and Slit. Okay. Yeah, so Kaba and Slit. Then um, I think during the colonial times, yeah. um, it was usually called the A shape. Okay. So they, they, they still wait. Um, it was straight like a skirt, a okay. very long skirt okay. with the ends. Um, looking kind of like A shaped. Okay. Yes, and then. I'm getting the picture, don't worry. Yes, and then a very fitted top. Okay. With huge. Yeah, sh shoulder pad <laughs> and <Shoulder pattern. laughs> Yeah. Okay. And it was about three yards for that. Wow. You know, yeah. And, and you know, perfect. The thing is, there are some clothing styles, mm. you know, traditionally, when you wear them, you should know that you have no problems in this life. For example, they, they when they of can take, as you, you put it, yeah. you have to walk in a certain style. Yeah. Similarly with carbine slit. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is, if you owe somebody money <laughs> and you know you're in trouble, you can't wear these, these two different clothing no. styles because you have to walk fast if you owe somebody money. Yeah. Carbine slit, can you run in it? You can't walk. You know, when you're on clothes, you cannot run. No, 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 no. Hey, carbine slit, uh, the way the team hold your legs. <laughs> <laughs> you can't run. <laughs> you dare not. <laughs> so you are a typical Ghanaian when? You tell me. How typical a Ghanaian uh, are you? So finish the sentence. You're a typical Ghanaian when? You're a Ghanaian when? Um, I think 
I don't know how to say this, but then I think I, I, I posted something on TikTok the okay. last time. And then I got a lot of views. What I posted was, tell me you grew, in an, you grew up in a Ghanaian home without telling me you grew up in a Ghanaian home. Okay, yeah. So what yeah. I actually did was um, toothpaste. Yeah. It was all gone. Yeah. And then you just cut it open. And oh, then, yeah. <laughs> you know. If I was soup inside, you know what I mean? <laughs> if I soup, um, I get it. Yeah, so it those really are one of the things that, you know, says you grew up in a Ghanaian home. Very well. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah typical Ghanaian. When you're Ghanaian, you're preparing your tomatoes in your appetite. You are. Okay, of course, yeah, that's <laughs> straight up, isn't it? Really, really straight up. Okay, not, so. Not, not this kind of uh, blender and all of that. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that one. Okay, so, uh, Rene, you're a typical Ghanaian when you do what? When you're trying to woo a girl and the girl does not mind, you'll be like, you're who's so bad, you're who's so bad. You pay you, Charlie. Give me a call on 020-000-0951. Let's talk about how typical Ghanaian you are in our Ghanaian month. And you are a typical Ghanaian when you call, you call older people you've never met before, uncle and auntie. Um, yeah, that's yeah. that's like true, but it's, I think is yeah. is universal in a way. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. it's quite universal. I don't think so. You don't think so? The Western world is not like that. It's yeah. quite relatable. Yeah, yeah. uncle. Like Wafa. Wafa. <laughs> hey, bra. <Yeah. laughs> Auntie. <laughs> you know you're in a typical Ghanaian market centre when you walk by and you by the time you get home, Charlie, your arms they pay you. They'll pull you left, right, centre. You know, when you go to Kant, Charlie, they'll hold hold you sa and then they'll give you accolades like Ohima. Yeah. Ohine Nana. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, that's what that's what you feel like you be guy. When you go back to your home, nobody they book you self. When you go to Accra, you get all the respect you have. You go to the, the market centers where you have like very dense, you know, market areas. For example, Cantamanto. How oh, you get all the accolades you want? See, you know, be fine like that. Too. Forget. What? You know, fine like that, but you go get some chop. Oh, him, oh, uh, fell, Charlie. <laughs> You're on a typical market center there. It says uh, you are a typical Ghanaian when all toothpaste is pepsodent. Nana Kwame, that's true. That's true. And all bar of soaps are? Kiss up. Kiss up what? I'm on some <laughs> The tradition continues. Oh boy, this is a very beautiful music. Let me say thanks to Spa uh, Market. Made in Ghana at Spa, your favorite neighborhood supermarket Spa El Citidia has dedicated the month of March to Made in Ghana products. And we're offering an attractive discount of 23% on all Made in Ghana products, okay? So walk into Spa today and grab a 23% all Made in Ghana products. Listen, we're going to bring this song back. I typically hate doing this, but yeah, we have to bring it back. I think Pepper should just start a song. Give me the instrumental loop so that everybody can forgive me. Please, please. There we go. So as the whole country celebrates Ghana Month, we are Spa 6 to appreciate our local suppliers as we, as well as our customers with, an, with this amazing campaign. A month dedicated to uh, celebrating our Made in Ghana partners while we offer our customers an unbelievable discount of 23% on Made in Ghana products. For example, a 33, uh, 330 male club beer is going for 3.29 Ghana cities. Three cities, 29 pesos. Where will you get that anywhere? Try to all the five liter is 45.99. That's 45 cities, 99 pesos. And fry to the 2 liter is at 22, uh, 49. Okay? 22 cities, 49 pesos. And at Spa, the uh, Spa or Citidia supermarket, you can get 400 gram of Milo, the Milo tin. That's a legend, yeah? 
when you're a kid, I'm sure when you're trying to get some scoop from there, when your parents don't allow you, you want to get some scoop over there, you're trying to peel it slowly. Because you know, when the, when, the, when the foil goes a bit too much, you know, say you touch the tin. So you go slow, slow. Yeah, the tin, the tin melody, the legend. Yeah. Well, you can get that for $14.99. 14 CDs, 99 pesos. And talk about Habiba Cocoa Butter. Something for your skin is selling for. Five cities, 99 pesos. That's a 250 mil. So with an open arm, we welcome you into our shops to enjoy 23 discounts on over uh, several made in Ghana products today. You can visit visit any spa, city, store in Accra, Dawenya and Chebi to enjoy up to 23% discount on several made in Ghana products. Offer is lasting to the end of March. Don't forget that. Be reminded that Citidia Supermarket is becoming Spa Market. And Spa, my Spa, my Market. T's and C's apply. For this Ghana month, don't forget, 23% discount. Our Spa Market. Tell some friends about it. Go ahead and grab it. It's all yours. Assassin, Assassin Radio. We'll take this song. Of course, it's a very beautiful music. You know what I like about the song? You know it. Perfect, tell me which part of the song do I like the most? Uh, the, the keyboard side. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, you got the, actually like two things. You got, you got one correct. Yeah. The other one is, ow, ow, ow. I like oh, that. I, <laughs> I, I, just, I just like that yeah. part, you know, because I, I like. The person who played this song is a very good guitarist. Yeah. yeah. Really, brilliant. John Darko. John Darko, He's man. Lovely. Yeah. You know, if you don't like this song, I don't know what else you like as a Ghanaian. It's a very beautiful yeah. music. Very, very, Yeah, very really good. nice. I really love it. There's We're gonna all be the Ghanaian in it. Yeah, yeah there's everything yeah. Ghanaian in there. We're going to be jamming, eh? uh, I think, with Facebook Live and also on uh, YouTube Live as well. There's Asasi TV official. I'm going to be dancing some moves. Listen, don't even mark it. There's no need to mark it because, I mean, it's Ghana month in the month of March. I might just tell you I'm doing the retro dance. I might just say I'm doing the pre-independence dance. You can't mark this one. Stay around. Assassin, Assassin Radio.
This is this, this is a saucy radio. between hours. a good you from Ben Bracco. Oh, Met Comic Room. Oh, Live on Asasi Radio 99.5. A lot of people know what Ghanaians are. Oh, what a typical Ghanaian is. Oh, got a message from Efua says, you know you are a Ghanaian when Voltic Mineral Water substitutes are all other brands. All substitute all other brands, of course. Uh, what would you want to drink? Bottle water? Voltic. <laughs> You are a typical Ghanaian when every DJ is a spinner. And it says you are a typical Ghanaian when every 4x4 is a V8. Yeah, sort of, right? Sort of. That's a message coming from Sami. Sami, big shout to you. You're listening to Asasi Radio. And it says you are a Ghanaian when every drive time is rush hour. There's a message from Nanama. Yeah, no dear, very correct. Why? It's not just any rush hour, you know. Rush hour, pa pa pa. On Asasi Radio 99.5. That's coming up shortly, though. Right after the news bulletin um, with uh, Solomon Tay is going to update for us. It says you are a Ghanaian when every kebab is a goat meat. Yeah, true that. True that. For sure, it says what? Perfect, say what? The, the, the snake wants all. Uh, the, the, the dog wants all. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and you know, you're a typical Ghanaian when the only kebab done is by a certain Musa somewhere. Yeah. It's on certain Ali. Oh, but you, you hear something before. How can, how can Kwame do kebab? How? Devi, Devi, that. How can Memuna do Aji? Uh, Memuna must do Aji, yeah. but how can uh, Ama, Ama do Aji? Oh, Forget, you know they be. Oh, and Mabuna doing Gobe. Forget, yeah, it has to be Afi. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 
Oh no, forget it won't happen. It has to be some army not doing that, yeah? yeah. You are a typical Ghanaian when every newspaper is graphic. graphic. Emmanuel. You are Ghanaian when every small private car is what? Every small private car. Very, very small, tiny short Kambu kind of car is what? Uba. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now yeah, now it is, yeah. Mickey, big shout to you. Actually pick our minds there. He brought it a bit a bit forward, because I mean it's quite latest, yeah. So Monte is coming up with a, a news update. He's gonna tell us a bit more about how a typical Ghanaian is before he goes on with the news. So Monte, you know you're a typical Ghanaian when when every seasoning cube is muggy, when every detergent is so clean, uh -huh. when every toothpaste is pepsodent. Uh -huh. <laughs> he goes on and on and on. But you've got a news update, right? Yeah. After the news update, Rush Hour takes over till 5 p.m. So stay around here on Asasi Radio 99.5. <laughs>